Great, thank you. Okay, good. So, um, as we always do, we're going to turn to the side to begin and about gratitude for the art and the practice, and then about gratitude for the group, for your discipline and continuing. It's definitely, um, uh, it shows a lot. <laughs> so, left foot forward, feet shoulder width apart, hands on the down tab. And we're going to start immediately today with going forward, coming back, and turning to the side. Going forward, coming back, and turning to the side. So we're warming up our ankles, our legs, and our hips. And of course, we're also warming up our breathing. Breathing um, in terms of being aware of it. So as you move forward, you breathe out. As you move back, you breathe in. And that, of course, plays out throughout the form, throughout the practice. Now. We're going to start with a little bit of a focus just on the muscles of the lower stomach in the area. So I guess we should come to the forward position to start here like this before we go to the next step. So I'm going to take my left hand and put my palm up, my right hand and my palm down. So I got the ball and I brought it down to here. Now when I turn and come back, I'm going to breathe in and expand. And when I come forward and up, I'm going to contract and pull in. See how my hand coming together here? They expand as they come back, and they contract as they come in. Now, don't worry about if you can't get the same range of movement that I'm showing, because it takes a while, but just whatever range you can, breathe in and breathe out. And to be sure, I'm not moving my hands, I'm contracting my stomach muscles and my lower torso muscles including the glutes. The glutes are being clenched slightly here. One more together. Breathe in, fill the belly, breathe out, push the air out, but squeeze the stomach together. And then relax. Switch feet. And hands just holding the belly back and to the front. Back and to the front. And you can think about the idea of that movement we were working on with the stomach muscles happening already, even if, even if it's a, at a lower a dynamic because that really is something you should be developing throughout every movement. But what we're gonna do then is focus on it by turning the hands up and down and squeezing them together and opening as they come back. One more. And then relax. Switch your feet again. And bring your hands up. So when I do that, and I pull my stomach muscles together like that, I can do that with every time I turn forward. If I'm reaching, or I'm punching, or I'm kicking, it's all happening in all of them. So with my hands up, I'm going to do a, a light kick. But I'm going to think, as I turn my hips and bring my knee up, and I'm gonna squeeze my stomach muscles and push my foot out and then step back, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze your stomach muscle as you push your foot out. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Switch your feet. Same thing. Squeeze and kick out lightly. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. And then switch your feet again. So if you can do that with a kick, you can certainly do that with your hand. We're going to start with both hands here, now left hand up. So my left foot is forward, my left hand is up. When I breathe in, I fill my stomach. And when I breathe out and I push forward and around, I squeeze my stomach. And I can feel that happening with my hand that's here. And now I make a note of how that feels. And I add my right hand into the mix. So when I'm pushing forward and squeezing my stomach, I'm, my right hand's reaching out. And then as I come back, I'm filling my stomach, but I'm more aware of it now, very carefully aware of it. Now, when I reach forward, my palm is at the height of my shoulder. It's not up here, it's here. Right next to my shoulder. Yes, and then I just reach out from there. Yeah, this reach is no different than reaching to grab a glass of water or whatever it is in front of me. Now, back to the stomach though. See if you can keep that feeling in your stomach, but go a little faster. And don't worry about the breathing so much now, but the dynamic. So that you're using your core muscles to drive the motion. And then this is also just get the blood moving and the heart rate up a little bit. So that's important too. And now relax, come back. So if my hand position is here and I reach and it goes straight out, I think of that as a strike. And I'm hitting the bottom of my hand, so I'm going to breathe in and fill my stomach, and I'm going to breathe out and think of a, like an explosion coming from here and throwing that hand out. Okay, one, squeezing the stomach, two, and three. Good. Feet together, breathe in. Relax completely, breathe out. Down around your hips, to the floor. Up. Open and push up. Shake it out. And then put your right foot forward. So, we're gonna start immediately with the right hand up. So my right foot is forward, my right hand is up. I breathe into my stomach. I push and I feel the contraction of those muscles and the focusing. The contraction of a muscle is a focusing of the muscle. So I'm focusing as I come forward. But you know, not overly tense, just, just enough that we feel it. Now, something else that is just, it takes time to develop is my elbow is not really going far away from my body. It's just staying right here. And that's an important part of this movement. But as I said, today we're really focused on the breathing and the dynamics of the muscles here. Now, really capture in your mind how to move and how to feel those muscles uh, working here and add in your left hand. So when you reach, you're reaching straight out from your shoulder and coming back. Squeezing your stomach, focusing through your hand. Now, pick up the pace, the blood flow a little bit more, but keep the dynamic in the belly, and the stomach muscles. Sustain it for just a little bit more, just get the heart rate up, get the blood moving. And 
and then slowing it down. And we'll do three strong strikes with the left hand with this. So breathe in, fill the stomach, explode. One, breathe in, two, and last one, breathe in, three. And then feet together one more time, cleansing breath in. And out. Around the hips and out. Around the toes and up. Open and out. Shake it out. Good. Your feet out, horse riding stance. Sink down a bit. Drop your hips. So point the fingers. Now, you drop your hands where they naturally fall. And then just point your fingers at each other and move your hands away from your body just a bit. The idea is to feel the dynamic of this circle. So from the bottom of the spine to the top of the head is a circle. Now relax your hips, let your weight sink. But push your mind up and through the back of your head so that your neck is uh, elongated and there's no collapsing up in the upper structure of the body so that you're suspended between the lower and the upper, fully uh, dynamically held in place. And then you raise your hands, up solar plexus height, relax your wrists, relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, and then just develop this feeling, whatever you want, whatever feeling you have standing there, just feel it. Now we're gonna breathe in and bring our hands away from each other, but we're gonna keep our elbows in one position in space. So our elbows don't move, just the wrists. Breathe in, breathe out. Focus on the hands coming together, what does that feel like? Again, in and out. One more in. And out. Bring the hands up. Hold the ball with the fingers up. Breathe in. Breathe out. All the way to the ground. Stretching down under the fingertips. Relax and stretch. Walk your hands to your right foot, pull your head to the right. And then to your left foot, pull your head to the left. Back to the middle, straighten your spine. And then turn to your left, push your weight to the left, turn your left foot all the way to the left and just enjoy the stretch. Push a little more. Hand down, heel up, runner stretch. You see? Yeah. Keep doing it. And then put your back knee down and push your weight forward against your front leg. Shift your weight back to your right foot. Walk back, tight. Down. 
back to the middle, straighten up, turn to your right, and push. Ease into the stretch. Don't, don't have to go faster than your body's ready. And then just lightly keep adding to it, keep intensifying it, bring your weight forward more and more until you get right to the forward position. Stretching out. And then bring your hand down, heel up, sink down. Back knee down, weight forward, stretch. Walk yourself back to your left foot, Tai Chi stretch down. Hands to the middle, work your feet in. Straighten the back of your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Circle your hips. Other way. Shake it out a bit. Okay. Now, you start by shrugging your shoulders and then turning the palms coming to the front. In and out. And now allow that to get a little bigger, but it's still slow and a little bigger. Shoulders release and relax. Now full circles over the head. And down and now shrug your shoulders the other way. And then let the elbows come out and then let those circles kind of start expanding bigger and bigger until they're full size over the head. And then down and then breathe in, gather and with no tension in the body, just fall one. Two, and three, then reach up slowly, push your fingertips up as high as you can. Now when you look up, look and focus your two end index fingers like, like, like you're triangulating them. So you're using them to focus at a single point, that point would come together about two feet in front of them, but that's where your mind's going. Between your index fingers, about two feet in front to a single point, focus all of your energy. And then reach on your tippy toes and extend as far as you can project your mind. And then bring your heels down, elbow across, twist from your hips first, and then your shoulders, and then just twist the whole body. But you want to feel the twist from your feet to your shoulders. Very important to twist that way. Down. Other way. Again, hips, then shoulders. Maximum twist and holding. 